by the end of 2020, 55 million people were living in internal displacement, a number that has been steadily climbing over the past decade. The UN Secretary General's high-level panel recently published a report examining the world's internal displacement crisis. One of the solutions outlined in the report includes an imperative of durable solutions. The findings stressed the need to move beyond the current humanitarian model that is designed for the provision of life-saving assistance towards a more solutions-oriented approach. Recommendations to resolving internal displacement like these are not only welcomed by the humanitarian community, but in some cases are already in use. IOM has recently been developing an inclusive participatory approach that is now being applied to a wide range of crises, including internal displacement, which is called community-based planning. The approach places community members, including those who are internally displaced, at the center of the process. CBP is intended to complement both humanitarian response and development approaches by empowering those most impacted by crisis to define, own and drive recovery processes, as well as local leadership to be transparent, accountable and responsive to their needs. IOM applies a development-oriented approach to address the mobility dimensions of crisis. In practice, CBP uses a structured dialogue, placing community members at the centre. By empowering them to take the lead on defining and owning their solutions, the participatory assessment and planning processes can galvanise the support to ensure recovery is sustainable. Participation is a commonly used term with human, within humanitarian recovery and development settings. But because IOM works in many different contexts, we have expanded upon this basic definition. It is a people-centered methodology that approaches communities as having capacities, agency and motivations to drive positive change. We need to see our role not only to help, but rather to support the community to be driving catalysts for its own change. We can also no longer see conflict-affected people as beneficiaries of our services, but rather as individuals with capacities, agency and motivation to drive their own positive change. This is not only a moral imperative, but also something rooted that is firmly rooted in the humanitarian reform agenda and the development agenda of the 2030. The high-level panel itself said it's critical to better utilize community-based planning. As IOM continues to meet the needs of those internally displaced worldwide, we will continue to use methodologies like community-based planning in order to improve how we help impact the communities. Because in order to achieve any lasting durable solutions, the people most affected need to be at the center of it.